Today, the Food and Drug Administration began two days of meetings about a controversial medical procedure that critics believe could lead to designer babies. Dr. John LaPook has been looking into this for us. John? Scott, uh, one of the issues scientists will discuss at this meeting is how clinical trials might be conducted. It's controversial because in addition to the DNA of the mother and the father, material from a third person is used in the process. The vast majority of a cell's DNA is located in the nucleus, but a tiny fraction is outside the nucleus in structures called mitochondria. These mitochondrial genes are inherited only from the mother and in rare cases can be defective. These defects can cause problems such as blindness, muscle disorders, and neurological illness. One proposed technique would work this way. A woman's nucleus is removed from her egg, leaving behind her unhealthy mitochondria. Her nucleus, containing the majority of her genes, replaces the nucleus in the donor egg, leaving an egg with the mother's nucleus and the donor's healthy mitochondria. So, what are the concerns? Scott, uh, there are technical issues. How do you make this safe and effective? But then there are ethical issues that have been raised. I mean, you're starting off with a technique meant to prevent devastating illness, but there are some people who worry that down the road it could be used to try to make so-called designer babies, kids who are more intelligent, who have other qualities that the parents find desirable. Now, I should say, we are way off technically from being able to do this, but that's the fear. John, thank you very much.